right y'all so little update here i just painted the whole interior of the mustang so i thought i'd show you kind of what it looks like uh the smell for the most part is dissipated all it does is smell like new fresh paint which is nice so um yeah it looks fantastic i don't even think the camera does it justice i mean I laid it on pretty thick with the brush. I'm gonna go back over it with like a second coat in some spots, especially to touch up. I still have the package tray area up there to do and the ceiling. Little update. So I ordered a bunch of parts, including the carpet and stuff from CJ Pony, like, I don't know, two, three days ago. And it's already here, like amazing. They're like on it with their shipping. All right, so we got these kick panels, but What's weird about them, I don't know if you can see this in here or tell, but no, the color looks like they do on the GoPro. They don't really look white. It's supposed to be white. Um, I don't know if, if the old Mustangs were actually white, but uh, yeah, it says white. Like they're more gray than anything, which is so strange. And I'm noticing they also don't have screws in them. Okay, so this is crazy. I just pulled part of the dash off. And look at that. Look how red that is. It is like, it looks like new paint. I mean, I guess that was the original color, was the Rangoon Red. I mean, that literally looks like it was painted yesterday. Never touched. Wow. That's crazy. Compared to that, jeez. And with this side too. I mean like, Looks fantastic. That's crazy. I mean, are you kidding? I love how in the tutorial video, they just like pop it out. Crazy, craziness. Feels like it's just welded to the freaking dash. But man, look at the red paint. That's so crazy. It's so clean. Oh man, that's nuts. It's so clean. It's like a brand new car under there. <laughs> How crazy. Yeah, the dash is just like peeling apart. Mm, lovely. All right, just a little update where I am with the dash. I pulled out this piece. Uh, basically, I took some pictures before, so that way I know where all these go. Pulled that out, had to pull that out in order to paint. So I painted the trim, um, and I just did use the low gloss uh, enamel, engine enamel from Duplicolor. All right, so I went and got several different paints from Harbor Freight. Thought. Why not give it a try? It's be a good opportunity. They're less expensive than most. Uh, these iron armors, obviously everybody knows Rust-Oleum. Got a rust reformer for the inside of the roof. Uh, just the rust, I wanted to hit it with some of that and just see how that worked. Also got some chassis and grill paint. Uh, I thought I could use that on the underside a little bit, especially under the floor pans where I welded. Then got this self-etching primer, it's gray. I'm gonna use this on the door that I've already sanded off and then masked that before I lay down the interior white color. Uh, this is kind of a test, so I thought I'd start with the door rather than jumping into the, the whole dash with it. That primer actually laid down really well and it's not too smelly, which is crazy. And it laid down so nice. It has like the dupa color cap on it, so it sprays like really smooth, really nice, really clean. Time will tell, obviously, once I put color on it, I'm gonna put the perfect match stone white on it. All right, so what I wanna do is make sure that this white vinyl matches. That's terrible. All these staples are coming out. Look at this. What the F, man? 
All the adhesive has like lost its stickiness too. That's not cool. Jeez. Well, we're gonna have to fix that. Annoying. Jeez, Distinctive Industries has some like serious quality control issues. Distinctive Industries. I mean, just look at this. The staples didn't even go through. It was like somebody just went bop, bop, bop. And they didn't even, they just like kind of divoted into the here, but they didn't actually go and stick into the MDF or cardboard particle board or whatever this is. I don't have any upholstery staples to like restaple it. So I'm basically having to take a small hammer and hammer them in. And this is stupid because this thing costs like 80 bucks. Like, come on, bad, like really poor quality control. I mean, it's literally the whole thing. This is crazy. I mean, look at this, all this. <laughs> Don't order distinctive industries, y'all. <laughs> Ugh, crazy. Uh, I thought Distinctive Industries was supposed to be good. I guess they're not. I don't know, that was my mistake. Um, yeah. Pretty distinctive. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty bad. I basically used some CA glue, uh, the Starbond medium. That way it was a little bit thicker, uh, so it wouldn't cure as quickly. So it'd give me enough time to pull it down, push it down. Then I used some accelerator, um, and I just went around and, and hit all of these areas, basically. Also had to hammer in all the staples. They were all put it in an angle and weren't even going into the backing. One thing I noticed as well, the hell what is this pink highlighter situation with this like blue almost looks like a blue pin I don't know what that is but that's disappointing yeah just the quality overall man like pretty poor it's disappointing because as someone who is a maker who could actually make something like that the reason I ordered it already made is because I wanted to save myself the time so I could focus that time somewhere else. Yeah, but the quality just wasn't there. It's such a bummer. That's okay. We fixed it. Moving on. So I ended up going with some Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer for the roof, uh, the inside of the roof. I thought, why not? I'd just try it out and make it easy and affordable. It's not the most pretty thing, but guess what? It's a freaking roof, who cares? I'm probably gonna put some sort of liner in here eventually, but at least it seals things up. I tried to get back in there, it was kind of tough. Uh, there's a little bit of rust in there, but you know, whatever, it is what it is. It came out uh, a little lighter. Then the actual top, you can see, or I don't know if you can see, this is a little more cream colored. Uh, it's hard to see, it's hard to tell in here with the, with the light. Uh, then the actual light itself, unfortunately, because the pieces that I have over there, I don't know if they're gonna match this. It might be kind of off colored, but I don't know. I mean, what can you do? 
All right, so let's paint the dash. I just went and got some more perfect match, stone white. It's, uh, yeah, same as I used on the door. Now I'm gonna paint the dash and then I'll paint the other door too. I also got some vinyl paint and it's pretty close to the colors. So we're just gonna roll with it because I don't want to get custom colors made. It's like four times as expensive for just little bits. So yeah, good times. So we've been painting and painting and painting and I've gone through way more paint than I thought I would. It's just kind of how it is, but that's okay. Everything's starting to look really, really good. So I painted the door in stone white. I've got this kind of yellowed light on it, so it might look more yellow than it really is. I painted the dash, painted the steering column, steering wheel is going. Gonna go with uh, probably a nice wood grain steering wheel, stainless steel, something pretty. Yeah, the rest of the dash. Also painted the other door now. Got the roof nice and painted lack. Yeah, it looks good except for where I hung the light and then right there, and then it scratched it and got all junky. I may hit it with a little bit of uh, uh, Rust-Oleum again, just to kind of clear it up. Also decided to test out this good stuff on one of the visors, um, and that is the SEM or SEM, however you say it. Color coat, the sailcloth white vinyl. I'll probably have to end up getting a couple more cans because it took a lot just to cover this one sun visor. But the match is great, the color works. Uh, I've gotta do the two front bucket seats, which are red, which is probably gonna take a lot to cover. And definitely gonna take a lot to cover the, the uh, black vinyl seats because I gotta do the seat back and then the seat cushion, which is underneath that. Then I'm gonna order a new dash in dark blue to match the dark blue carpet, which is gonna look so good. Yeah, that's that's gonna look so good. And then I'm gonna do the car and I think guardsman blue or something like it if I can find it. But now, I'm trying to focus on all the interior first. Now I've got to take this bad boy apart. going good until the very end. <laughs> I cleaned this whole thing up. This looks really good now. Nice and fresh. Doesn't look brand new, but it looks way better than it did. I tried to get a lot of the cloudiness out of the oil and the alternator um, things. I also uh, painted these guys, cleaned all this up, repainted this as well 
cleaned everything else up in here and then I accidentally scratched uh, the lens when I was putting it back together. So fantastic, <laughs> whatever though. It is what it is. Uh, it looks way cleaner, it looks way better. Also got my panels painted and now I'm gonna start to do more of the vinyl. Uh, just remember to like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So thanks y'all for tuning in to my video and stay tuned for more videos to come.